Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God, Five Minutes in the Word of God, Five Minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. My name is Michael Moret, reading today from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 43. Father, sanctify us by your truth. Your word is truth. In Jesus' name, amen. Matthew 5, 43, the words of Jesus. Ye have heard that it hath been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thine enemy. People may say, hate your enemy, but God doesn't. He never commands us to hate anyone, not, not even those who hate us. So Jesus says, Ye have heard that it hath been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thine enemy. But I say unto you, Love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you. And pray for them that despitefully use you and persecute you. We don't have to like our enemies. Notice carefully the words of Jesus. He doesn't say, but I say unto you, like your enemies. You're not commanded to like anyone. There may be absolutely nothing in someone's character, in someone's personality that is worth liking. We don't have to like our enemies. We don't even have to want to be around them. We don't have to feel good about how they are or what they do to us. But God commands us to love them. You say, well, how can I love someone that I don't even like? Well, that's not a problem. It shouldn't be a problem because... God loves us and he does not like us. If you think that God loves ungodly sinners who, think, who throw spiritual dung in his face with their evil sin, if you think that God likes ungodly sinners who, according to the word of God, are his enemies because of their wicked works, if you think God likes people, then I want you to find me a scripture where it says that, where God likes ungodly sinners who have not repented. You won't find it. Liking doesn't have anything to do with loving. God so loved the world. It doesn't say that God so liked the world. Oh, I just like them so much. I'm going to die on a cross for them. No, loving is self-sacrifice. Loving is doing what is in the best interest of someone, whether you like them or not. So you say, well, how do I love someone that I don't even like? The answer is simple. You love them by being nice to them. And being nice to them, if nothing else, at the very least, includes praying for them. When someone treats you badly, bite the bullet and say a prayer for them. More than once I've been cut off in traffic. More than once I've had people, you know, do bad things to me in traffic. Indicate that they don't appreciate me in traffic. And in the flesh, my initial reaction in the flesh is to go after them. But the Holy Spirit slaps me across the head and says, Moret, pray for them. And so I bite the bullet. And I pray for people who are not like, who do not treat me well in traffic. That, that's, and I don't like them. Believe me, I don't like them. But if someone treats you bad, bite the bullet. I know it's not easy. So what? Go against your feelings. Big deal. Jesus did that at the Garden of Gethsemane. And say a prayer for them. The definition of love, according to God, is to do good to someone. Love doesn't have anything to do with feelings or liking. For more of God's Word, go to thebibleversebyverse.com.